Come on. Dude, what the f***? Why won't people just let you in, dude? What the hell? I swear, something happens in every video that I do. And I know a lot of people say their city has the worst drivers, but I seriously think San Diego has the worst drivers. Like, she saw me turn my head and everything. Like, she straight up knew I was trying to get in. She just didn't give a f Just pretend like she don't see me. Anyway. Welcome to another Ricky Bobber episode. Instead of just doing the old how-to, you know, showing you what I'm doing and talking while I'm doing it. When I was doing the how-to with the headlight, one of my neighbors was blasting music. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be riding around right now and then explaining what I did with that video over it. And now's a good time to show you too. So, you're going to want to do these three screws on each side. So, it's an Allen wrench. So, the Allen wrench is actually underneath the seat. If you have a stock Indian Scout bobber seat, and if you didn't know this or had never looked under there, there's actually an Allen wrench under there. And it works to take off the headlight cowl. Also, it works on your bar ends if you want to adjust your mirrors. And the other side of that is the screwdriver. So you literally only need the tool that's underneath your seat to do this. And that's what I use just to show how easy it is. You don't have, really have to buy any tools or anything. So you take the three screws off on each side. It's two pieces, a back and a front. So you do want to be careful not to let it drop once you get them both loose. It wouldn't hurt to have an extra person, but I did it by myself. So if I can do it by myself, anyone can do it by themselves. It doesn't make sense to take it to a dealership to do it. Because, I mean, if you could put IKEA furniture together, you could change the headlight. Once you get those six bolts out, and you take the cowling off, you're gonna see the headlight underneath. There's gonna be like a rubber gasket. Rubber gasket, I hardly know her. I'm gonna cut through here. So there's gonna be that rubber gasket underneath. You just peel that off. You're gonna reuse it again. And then you're just gonna have the headlight sticking out. On the side of the headlight holder, there's this ring with two Phillips screws inside. So you take the other end of that Allen wrench, as mentioned before, and you unscrew that. So you're able to pop out the headlight disconnect the cables you're gonna notice there's gonna be three different cables one you'll notice obviously matches the type that the new one connects to so you take those screws out and you take the ring out you can obviously you want to reuse the ring now if you notice on the ring there's this little divot or this little dent whatever you want to call it at the very bottom so you want to take note of that and remember where it is it's never a bad idea to take pictures of what you're doing so you can refer back to it if, if you start taking stuff apart and you don't remember oh, how did something go, just always go back to your picture. Um, in fact, I th I'm pretty sure that's what I did because I, when I took the ring off, I couldn't remember if the, that dent was at the bottom or not. Um, eventually, I would have found out it wouldn't have lined up, you know, kind of found out the hard way if I did it the wrong way, 50-50 chance of putting it upside down. But I looked at the photo that I took of my before and uh, realized that, um, you know, that little dent goes at the bottom. So, you take your new headlight out. Here's a quick little unboxing what a, of me opening up the headlight. It's made by Eagle Headlights. I didn't want the one with the ring on it, the halo ring. I didn't go with the Pathfinder. I don't like the look of the Pathfinder. So I went with the Eagle ones, and I think with the, the halo ring with the headlight grill, it just would look like little chunks. So I went with the regular plain old LED so that there's no choppy pieces looking out, peeping through. Kept in mind which one I wanted to get considering that I was going to put the headlight grill over it. Now the headlight grill itself is something that I found online. I wish I could remember who I asked about it. I can't claim to say that I discovered it myself. I saw somebody else that had it on Instagram and I asked them where they got it. Um, they, and they told me who it was. It was Alchemy Parts that makes it. However, they're in the UK. Oh, I looked them up online, found Alchemy Parts website in the UK. It was this much. The item itself was this much and then shipping was like 40 50 bucks so it would have been over a hundred dollars to get that little metal thing and they didn't have it on Amazon either I think that's the first place I looked I did find one on eBay I found it for sixty dollars and I believe what the person did is probably bought a, a mass quantity of them from the UK with like one shipping rate and then they're selling them individually which I think is pretty smart and what it is is a five and three quarter inch grill it's not deep set if you look up a, a headlight grill five and three quarter inch You'll find a lot of them, but some of them have a deep set rim and you don't want a deep set rim because you want this to lay on top of the headlight, but also put the ring back on top of it. So you got to make sure that's really thin 
and I can confirm that this particular one works. And the way you put it on, going back to the uh, how-to, is you gotta take the ring off the old headlight and there's these four clips in the back that, um, that hold it in place. So you gotta get something like a screwdriver and pop those rings out. That's probably the hardest thing of the whole install is to get those puppies out. But I just use this little thing on my pocket knife. You could use a screwdriver as well. Just anything to kind of get, get in there. Maybe some needle nose pliers work too. Once you get those clips out, you can take the ring off. The way I remembered how it goes, because there's high beam and low beam, is uh, you can look at the, the headlight itself and it'll have the DOT logo on it, Department of Transportation. So just make sure that those letters DOT are upright so you know you're putting it in the right way. And uh, also make sure that the ring indentation is at the bottom. You sandwich your headlight grill in between those, put the clamps back in, and you're almost there. So the second hardest part of that is lining it up. You don't want to go crooked, even though if you do get it in there, you can spin it. You can actually spin the grill, but it's just getting it right on there, like putting in a contact, I guess you could say. You want it to be dead center. It's getting it dead center is uh, kind of tricky. When I put it together, I will be totally honest, uh, it was a little bit crooked. So I actually undid it and then did it again. And I got it right. What I ended up doing to get it lined up and to stay, to stay put is I put some masking tape or painter's tape on there. That's kind of hidden, no one's gonna see it. But uh, that, that helped me keep it in place. Um, if you have a, an extra hand available, like somebody to help you, that would be super helpful too. Not absolutely necessary, but helpful nonetheless. By the way, nonetheless is my favorite word. I, I don't know why. It's like, it's like three words, but somehow they got to be together to be one word. Just like nevertheless, but I think nonetheless is better. Anyway, I don't even use that word that much, which is kind of funny. Okay, guys. So, I'm coming up on the intersection where I always see a red car. And uh, let's see if there's a red car. In fact, there's one behind me right now. Freaking Matrix engaged, man. When I'm driving around my work truck, I try to—I don't see red cars when I go in this intersection with my work truck. Oh, oh, they're still behind me. Well, there's one there. So back to the headlight. So putting it back together, you just want to make sure that it's centered. You can spin it around if you want. I chose to put mine horizontal. I think it looks better that way. The radiator grill has horizontal lines, so I kind of want to go with that flow. I am thinking about getting fork boots, which also has horizontal line so we're kind of just going with that theme and I can't think of any reason why the light would be affected by going horizontal I think that's it anything else I forgot to mention I'll just pop up on the screen thank you very much for watching if you found this video informative or amusing in any way uh, please give it a like I'll catch you on the next one